views are breathtaking. The term picture postcard was probably conjured up for a place like Killyleigh. You can take your pick. It's stunning setting on the shores of Strangford Loch. It's fairy tale castle with streets of colourfully painted houses running down from its entrance gates. Or its location in the rolling Drumlin countryside of County Down. We'll take you on a journey of the best of Killy Lay, the legacy of the Hamilton plantation, the first wave of what was to become the Ulster Scots, the famous sons who have left their mark on the world, including the inventor of milk chocolate and founder of the British Museum, the rector who deciphered the ancient languages of the East and the footballing heroes. Well, it wasn't a town, it was about ten houses, uh, the high street. Uh, this castle uh, here had been built by de Corsi. I mean, not all of it. I mean, he built the original old tower of 1180. Once when he was in the pulpit, he was given his sermon and he remembered something in the rectory, something to do with his hieroglyphics. He went to the rectory, believe it or not, saw to what he needed to do, came back to the church and continued his sermon. Years ago it was all just single pots, a pot here and a pot there, just for lobsters. No prawns, no crabs, lobsters only. I think if you asked my man and dad, I was, I, you know, they could send me out in the morning, nine o'clock. Sometimes they probably wouldn't see me to eight or nine o'clock at night, so I was always out playing football, playing with my mates. When added together, it's a package of history and scenic beauty that makes Killy Lay an unrivaled place to live and work. For those still to discover Killy Lay, though, it remains one of the best kept secrets in Ireland. The town has grown up around this historic castle, a castle that would look more at home in the setting of the Loire Valley, but which owes more to Scotland, for it was from there that members of the Hamilton family first arrived. 400 years on, and the castle remains in the ownership of the Hamilton, who fondly recall the original pioneer, the remarkable James Hamilton. He was a tycoon, I think in the modern jargon. He wanted to, he wanted to make money, and he certainly did. And he was uh, pretty ruthless. And if you look at the picture of him in the front hall, uh, you will agree with me, he's a tough cookie. Uh, but uh, what else can I say about him? He's a highly effective man. And he brought over all the people, his friends and his brothers from Scotland, everybody who was useful to him. And they were the original settlers who came here. <laughs> 